In this video, we will be demonstrating the fluid friction apparatus, the H408. This is part of Tech Equipment's Fluid Mechanics range of engineering teaching products that allows students to study flow, flow measurement techniques, and losses in a wide variety of pipes and fittings. This apparatus enables students to learn in practice that when there is friction, there is a loss of energy. Then how this is affected using different pipes, fittings and valves. Students can examine in detail how pipe form factors such as bends and elbows, inline straightening and sudden expansion and contraction of pipes affect the flow rate. Let's take a look around the fluid friction apparatus. All the experimental elements of the apparatus are mounted on a sturdy vertical mobile frame. The main unit is 2.8 meters long, 1.85 meters high, and 0.8 meters from front to back. The apparatus has three color-coded circuits with instruments, pipes, and pipe fittings, including a different valve on each circuit. The valves are positioned downstream of each circuit to avoid upstream turbulence. The innermost of the three circuits has interchangeable sections that include an orifice, venturi, pito, roughened pipe, and strainer. Tech Equipment's digital hydraulic bench, the H1F, supplies the circuits with a controlled and measurable flow of water. This is available to purchase separately. On to pressure measurement. Numbered pressure tappings are fitted at all the important points for measurement of pressure change along each pipe section or pipe component. Each pressure tapping includes a special self-sealing connector. To measure pressure, pressure change across each pipe section or its components, students use a freestanding three-way piezometer. This is half a metre wide, half a metre from front to back and 1.7 metres high. A differential pressure gauge is used to measure the higher differential pressure across the valves and strainer. To adjust the datum water level in the tubes of the piezometer set, students can connect a hand bump to the air valve above the tubes. To perform experiments, students set the hydraulic bench to pump water through a circuit and measure pressure losses through the pipes and fittings. You can also define the losses in a rapid enlargement and contraction. For a comprehensive understanding, several pipe sections of different diameters are incorporated to show how this affects pressure losses. Let me tell you a bit about the artificially roughened pipe. This allows you to study the friction factor at different Reynolds numbers. The Venturi meter and orifice plate instruments offer students two common methods of measuring the water flow. Students use them to measure flow and compare the losses of each. They also give applications of Bernoulli's equations for incomprehensible fluid flow. A pitot-static tube is included for finding the velocity profiles and flow coefficients by traversing the pitot across the pipe diameter. Using this device, you can also find the relationship between the flow rate and the pressure differential. All the theory and relevant equations are outlined in the user guide that is supplied with the apparatus. Similar teaching products for understanding just losses in pipes are available from tech equipment, including the very simple friction losses in pipe experiment, the more comprehensive losses in piping systems apparatus, along with the compact pipework energy losses experiment. For more information about the fluid friction apparatus and others mentioned, click on the links in the description box below or visit techquipment.com. Finally, if you want to see all the new release videos from Tech Equipment, be sure to subscribe to the Tech Equipment YouTube channel, then click on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching.